Hi everyone, welcome to XCA, Excoding with Alvian. This video is the second part of building AR Inventory Tracker iOS and VisionOS tutorial series. If you haven't watched the previous video, I've provided the link at the description below. So let me show you the app that we have built in the first part of the video. So we built the iOS app where the user can add an item to the inventory list here using this form sheet. They can also add the UZDZ file and currently it only supports the file importer where the user can select the UZDZ file from the files app. Okay, so currently there is no way to scan the user object directly from the app and convert it to UZDZ. And let me show you the Vision OS application. So the item added to the inventory list from the iPhone app will be seen in real time into the Vision OS app. So as you can see here, we have this grid showing the items and we can also preview it, rotate it around in real time. Nice, right? And we can also drag and drop, move it to the shared space where we can basically move it around in the shared space environment, okay? So like I mentioned before that currently to add the UZDZ 3D model, the user needs to import their own file, right? And it's hard, right, to basically create UZDZ file from your own object, right? So in this video, we will add a UZDZ scanner where the user can capture a real life object directly and then transform it into UZDZ from the app itself using photogrammetry technique. So basically it is a technique to turn photos, series of photos captured directly from a LiDAR camera sensor. So it's built into the latest iPhone 13, 14 as well as the iPad Pro, right? So it will turn the photos into high quality 3D models using the object capture photogrammetry technique, okay? The API itself is provided by Apple. So the code for the UZDZ object capture itself is based on the Apple official sample code, okay? They also have a talk in the WWDC 23 regarding this. So I'll also provide the link to that WWDC session at the description below. I have created the SPM library to basically wrap this into a package that can be imported and use from any iOS app, okay? So that's the background of what we are going to build. And without further ado, let's just begin and start coding. Okay, so for the starter project, if you have followed the tutorial and complete the part one of this series, then you can just continue using the code base. But if you haven't and you, you want to just follow along for this part two, you can also download the starter project from the GitHub repository. So here, navigate to this AR inventory CVI. I'll provide the link at the description below as well for you to uh, copy and paste, right? So in here, select this part two starter, okay? And then you can simply just download the zip for the code. Or if you want to clone, you can also as well, as this is a public repository, right? So this is the starter project for this part two. Also, uh, I'm going to start the Firebase local emulator suit on my local machine. In fact, I already started in here. So this will basically uh, enable us to interact with the local environment for the Firestore database and also the Firebase storage which we are going to use to upload the file. So basically it won't interact with the server. It will just upload the file and store the data in the local machine, okay? After you download the starter project, so to open the project and enable the build to be successfully built on the Vision OS simulator. So as of now, Xcode 15 beta 8. So I recorded this video. I think today is like 2nd September, right? So currently you need to pass a special flag to enable the successful building of Firestore SDK for Vision OS. So this is the flag, open 
So make sure first you close the Xcode, kill the application first, okay? And then open this, passing this special environment flag, Firebase source per store, okay? And the path to the Xcode approach. And the name is this XC inventory record of Xcode approach. So after you open this, so this will be the project. If you still have doubt regarding this Firestore setup, please watch the part one of the video if you want to get more details about the Firebase setup of the project. I think I provide a step-by-step -step tutorial on there, probably around 15 to 20 minutes on the part one. Okay, so just follow that in the part one of this tutorial series. Okay, then let's just begin. First thing is make sure to select this XCN inventory tracker, select this project. And then in here, select package dependencies tab. Okay, so first thing is we are going to add this SPM UZDC scanner, right? So as I said before, this is basically a wrapper, SPM wrapper based on the original Apple object capture sample code. So with this, we should be able to just present this UZDC scanner and pass the completion callback closure. So this is the URL for the UZDC file to the capture. That we can use to upload to further storage okay let's first let's copy this the address for the github repo and in xcode click this plus button and then just paste the url just click enter okay it's done fetching the github repository and then in here just select the axia inventory tracker ios target okay so we're going to add this only for the IOS target. Click Add Package. Okay, it's going to resolve the dependencies. Download the source code in here. Okay, and then in here, as you can see, for the IOS target, we should have this UCDC scanner. Okay, as one of the target framework. That's it. We have added the UCDC scanner dependency to the IOS target. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is here, make sure to still select this iOS target and then select this info from the tab. So now we need to add permission for the camera, okay? Because we're going to scan using the camera. So add this privacy camera usage description, okay? And for the string value, just add this description. This tab uses the camera to scan objects so this will be shown inside the prompt to the user okay to give access to the camera okay we have added the privacy now let's navigate to the this xc inventory tracker and then select this inventory form view okay so this is inside the ios target so let's change the scheme to ios Okay, now let me just close the preview. We don't need it. Okay, now let's import UZ disease scanner. Okay. And we can simply add the sheet above this file importer. Okay, so in here, let's just add this sheet is presented content. So let's pass a custom binding with the custom get and set in here. Okay, so for the get, we want to show this when this VM selected user CD source publish property is equal with object capture. Okay, as you can see here, this button will set the selected user CD source to object capture. Okay, and for the value, let just ignore this and just select just select this selected user CD source to nil. Okay, this will dismiss the sheet. And for the content, as simple as just declare this UZDZ scanner, okay? It has this uncompleted callback for the parameter. It's a closure with one parameter and void return type, okay? So this will be invoked after the scanner completes. It will pass us the URL in the document directory where it persists that UZDZ file, okay? So we will use this URL to upload to uh, Firebase storage. Okay, so here, let's just kick off an async task, like the one in the file importer, okay? 
and then invoke await vm dot load ucdz file url passing the url okay and let's also set the vm dot selected ucdc source to new okay to dismiss this okay but one thing before we try this okay not so fast right remember that in here for the file import we need to use this file url start accessing security scope resource if we use that file importer modifier because we get the file from the user files application right so we can just access the we cannot just access the file directly we need to use this start accessing security scope resource and then stop it so in case we just got the access then we continue right but in case for this ucdc scanner as it's already in user application document directory we don't need this got access okay so we need to handle this separately so to do that i'm just going to add a parameter is it is security scope resource okay this goes is going to be a boolean with the full value of false and then in here we can just check if security this security scope resource is true and then this is a uh, false file url start accessing security scope resource it means it doesn't have the access we just return okay now we can remove this so we don't need also this got access to the guard and in here we can just check again if security scope resource is true then we call this file url stop accessing security scope resource okay now this should handle the case where we don't need the security scope resource right but remember in the file importer we need to pass the boolean explicitly to true so this one or the file importer we need to pass is security scope resource we need to pass through okay because this is from the files app not from the user document directory okay i think this covers everything it's very simple right because we have mostly implemented everything in the first part now we can just try this so make sure you use iphone 13 pro max or iphone 14 pro max the one with the ladder camera sensor to test this so let me build this and run this on my iphone okay so basically in here we can just simply create an item add an item so i'm going to add air force one quantity one select object capture okay there you go we have the scanner sheet shown let me select this okay move slowly around the object and then capturing it okay move around okay just make sure it is centered properly okay nice okay scanning okay so i'm just going to capture using one segment okay but you can capture using three segments for the best results okay we have the ucdz rendered and let me dismiss it's going to upload to firebase storage nice and then we got the thumbnail save nice it's working as expected and it's also shown in the vision os simulator amazing so here we can select this item that we have uh created in here let me move this around it can be a bit tricky using the vision or simulator okay wow <laughs> nice this is amazing right and we can also drag this to the shared space environment ah nice there you go let's put it in the table here you can also make it bigger in here this is amazing okay so that's it basically for this short video we we'll have we have successfully add the ucdz object capture using photogrammetry to capture real object into the ucdc file and then 
implement that, integrate that into the inventory tracker application. So now we have the capability to use our own object. Okay, as simple as just using the iPhone LiDAR camera sensor, scan them, and then it will generate the user file and then it will be shown in our inventory tracker application. And it's also synced to the Firestore database in real time. Okay, to all the device, to all the user of the Firestore database. Okay, so that is amazing. And thank you for watching this video until the end. Congratulations if you have completed the part one and part two of this video. So until the next video and next series, keep on being a lifelong learner and like the video if you like, subscribe if you haven't, and please support me going forward. Thank you.